Hello, I'm Atubo George and I'm so blessed to be with you this morning and to bring forth God's truth. Now, it doesn't matter what time you're watching this broadcast, it is your morning. Praise God. Yes, it is your morning. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Are you ready for us to call for that daily bread before we go in talking about the testimony of Jesus? I'm so excited today. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Say these words with me. Say, Father, I receive right now my daily bread because I believe in the testimony of Jesus. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen. Man, praise God. Now, thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. There's someone, um, they're having issues with one of your ears. There's an issue with one of your ears, actually the right one. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Can you place your hand there right now? I command that ear right now to open up. And whatever is stuffing it up, I command it to be loosed and be free in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Amen. Praise God. I, I just feel led right now. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I speak to every organ of your body. Your heart, your kidneys, your liver, your pancreas, every organ within your body. I speak to your eyes right now. I speak to your ears. I speak to your respiratory system. I speak to your digestive system. I speak to your arteries. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Holy Spirit, let the anointing of God's Spirit rest upon you right now. And anywhere in your body that there is a blockage, Thank you, Holy Spirit. Anywhere in your body that there is a blockage, either your arteries, your veins, your respiratory system, your digestive system, any passageway from the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, any passageway that is blocked, or getting blocked for whatever reason, I command them to open up now in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be opened and let there be free circulation all around your body in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And whatever this have cost you, I speak full repair and restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Now, now, some of you, you know we're talking about the testimony of Jesus. We, we've not even got into that part yet and, and the Spirit of God is just manifesting that testimony. Yeah, because when I, when, I, when I go into the teaching, you will understand what's going on. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Now, some of you have been spending money on medical bills and you've been doing that for years. You've been doing that for years. The Lord is not only healing you of that ailment that you are treating. Because I see someone, you've been dealing with diabetes. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Can you believe God for your healing? And not just your healing, because that's this is what I hear the Spirit of God say. I don't just want to heal you. I want to restore. Or, or, or let me use the word, pay you back 
for everything you have spent and with interest. That's what the Lord is saying to you. So if you're ready for that, can you lift up your hand towards heaven even as I pray for you right now? And not just the person suffering from diabetes, every medical condition that have caused you to be spending money over and over and over. You need to buy drugs, you need to see the doctor, you need to run tests and everything. The Lord says, He doesn't just want to heal you. He wants to heal you and then He also wants to restore everything you have spent in that. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Father, fulfill your word that you have spoken in their lives right now. Where Ever you are, be touched by the Spirit of God right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, be touched by the Spirit of God right now. Yes, that's the anointing of God you are feeling. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Just go ahead and praise Him. Praise Him. He's healing you right now. He's healing you right now. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Thank you, Holy Spirit. Low sperm counts be healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Tuba blockages be healed. Be healed right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Anything that is blocking your womb, Anything that is blocking your fallopian tube, I command those things to melt away. Be free. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Praise God. Woo! All right. I love it when, when, when the anointing comes upon me. And thank you, Holy Spirit. Where did we stop yesterday? I was talking about the testimony of Jesus and, and we, we were reading from we were reading from Revelation chapter 19 and verse 10 it says I, and I fell at my feet to worship him and he said unto me see thou do it not I am thy fellow servant and of thy brethren that have the testimony of Jesus worship God. And then he said something very powerful there. He said, For the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy. Now, what does it mean, the spirit of prophecy? It's simple. The spirit by which prophecies are fulfilled. That's what it simply means. The spirit by which prophecies are fulfilled. Now, he says, The spirit by which prophecies is fulfilled is the testimony of of Jesus, meaning whatever Jesus have said, number one, is in line with the mind and the heart of God. And now, what does it mean? If you believe what Jesus have said, and that's what John was telling us in John chapter 3 from verse 33, he said, he that have believed, have set, him, set the seal to himself that God is true. Now, sometimes people don't want to, don't know what they should believe about God. See, they don't know, okay, how, where do I start from? Where do I start from? Listen to me. The reason God sent Jesus into the world is to let us know his testimony. Now, there is nothing new Jesus came to say. Understand and hear me. There is nothing new Jesus came to say. That's why John said what he has heard and seeing above is what he came to testify to us. Now that's to tell you that it existed before Jesus came to testify concerning them. So it means God has been saying these things from the beginning. He's been saying it right from Adam. He's been saying the same thing. Praise God. And now, because he's worked with several people, we find it difficult to get to that point where, okay, this is the sum of everything that God has been saying. 
So because we find that difficult, God made it easy for us. He sent Jesus to come and bear his testimony. Now, hear me. Jesus came and he began to testify of all those things that are in the heart of the Father. And John said, men did not receive his testimony. Why? Praise God. Why didn't they receive his testimony? Because their minds were far away from God. But then he said something. Anyone who believes what Jesus is testifying, which is his testimony, because your, your testimony means this is where I stand. This is what I believe. This is what is my truth. So the testimony of Jesus actually means the truth of Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So now, Jesus came and began to say things to us. Lots of things that Jesus said. One of it, for example, is that God has given to us eternal life. He was talking to Nebuchadnezzar. He was talking to Nicodemus, who came to see him by night. He says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten Son, that whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have eternal life. That's the testimony of Jesus. Jesus was bearing witness that if you believe in him, so the Father have said, that you will have eternal life. Jesus said the same thing in John chapter 17. He said, as you have given him, he was referring to himself. And now he was talking to the Father. And I refer to John chapter 17 as the holiest scripture in the Bible. Why? Because that is a place that the word was talking to the word. Praise God. Yeah. So, so Jesus was talking to his father. And guess what? Now, you, you can't get any, you, you can't mistake any statement there as a lie. You can't. So Jesus made some profound statements in John chapter 17. I wonder how many of you have taken notice of those things he said. First of all, he said, as thou hast given him authority over all flesh, that he, Jesus, should give eternal life as, to as many as you have given to him. Now, what is that saying? The testimony of Jesus is saying that he is the only one that can give eternal life. Meaning, you cannot get eternal life outside of Jesus. No, no, no way. There is nothing you can do to receive eternal life except when you come to Jesus. I think I should show you that scripture, John chapter 17. It's important you see it. So you don't just think, oh, this pastor is just talking out of his head. Now, he said in verse 2, as thou hast given him power, the Jesus is testifying concerning the Father. As thou hast given him power over all flesh, that he, Jesus, should give eternal life to as many as thou hast given him. Jesus is not just the custodian of eternal life. He gives eternal life to everyone the Father has given him. So when we come to Jesus, this tells me something. We don't come to Jesus by ourselves. The Father actually leads us to Jesus. Jesus himself said in John chapter 6, No man cometh unto me except my Father who sent me draws him. Now, what do we go to Jesus for? This is the reason we go to Jesus. We go to Jesus to receive eternal life. Now, so Jesus said, no one who comes to me, no one can come to me except my father draws that one. So what does the father draw him for? I'm telling you now, the father draws you to Jesus for this very purpose. He has given Jesus the power over every flesh. Every flesh. And then the instruction was this. Jesus, yes sir, you will give eternal life to as many as I will draw to you. Praise God. Hallelujah. So have you been drawn to Jesus? 
there is one thing that you are supposed to receive from him. If you haven't received that from him, now eternal life is not just, oh, I'm born again, praise God, I'm happy now. Now come machine, bradiga, safahia. It's, it's much more than, 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 than that. Some people don't even understand what salvation is all about. Allah Eternal life is in the hands of Jesus. This is his testimony, praise God. And, and hey, I believe his testimony. And because I believe his testimony, I've been drawn to him and I receive from him that which the Father gave him to give to me. I receive the eternal life. Now what's eternal life? It's not just a life to live forever and ever and ever and ever. It's a quality of life that brings you into the class of God. Hallelujah. Eternal life gives you the ability to live like God. What a place to stop today. It is God. Our time is up. But hey, it's not over. We are going to continue tomorrow. This thing, meditate on this thing today. If you don't know what to meditate on, Meditate on this. You have been drawn to Jesus. Have you received eternal life from him? I'll see you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye.